All right, back here again with our Pangea game that we have going on. It looks like we found three three sites all together here. Hidden Gem Deposits, Moss Covered Caverns. 75 gold, not bad. A one Nature Gem, very good. Enchanted Well, that's a one Water Gem site. Cool. So... Looks like we're moving our pan over to get some Earth 2 and Blood 1, Nature 4 research in these provinces. Dryad coming this way to search for Water 2. We're sneaking some fellas over to 31 with White Centaurs. Oh, we should have picked these fellas up for sure. Too bad we didn't. Well, maybe we did, I don't know. A pan moving to 169. We have our shamans moving out to do some sight searching for Astral now. Forging a dwarven hammer with this pan. Also sight searching with a water three random dryad. Very, very nice. Moving more pans around searching. More than likely moving these two hierophants over to build a lab and a temple in this. Well, no. Well, yeah, probably building a lab and a temple over here and building a fort. I know we can't grow a fort, but this still is a very, very nice province to have nonetheless and have it forted up is just as well. Still making as many white centaurs as we can a turn. What are our other forts doing? Just more uh, hierophants. Hierophants. Hierophant. Shaman. Yep, shaman. Hierophant. Yeah. So, that is what we currently have going on there. We do have a lot of pans out sight searching, and we're really trying to focus on our research at this turn. Next turn, we'll have construction four, which is going to be very nice. We're going to have some nature boosters, some earth boosters. We're getting our dwarven hammers ready. We're going to have dowsing rods. Um, yeah, things are looking very good. Then we'll go down to enchantment three. Strength of giants, maybe? Heal and regeneration aren't that big of a deal. It will give us things like personal regen, poison resistance, other resistance type spells. So yeah, that's going to be very nice. And that's all that we have going on here. We see we did move a, a harpy to sit on on fort, so we, we'll see this battle here. We see TNN making a lot of units, or putting a lot of units onto Vanheim. Fort's not broke down yet. TNN also going after Fort on 167. Not really sure what Machaka's doing, but we're friends, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm wondering what Arcosophali and Roos is doing here. Not sure what Kalem is up to either. We see Zarmadia has broken off this fort. More than likely, we'll see Arcosophali come back over and take it. We see Niflheim up against the fort, too. Uh, Niflheim like, doesn't look like he's doing too bad for himself. But that's his fort right there. That's his capital. I mean, he's got a decent amount of land. Barato's kind of small. That looks like they did build a fort on 255. Not sure about what's over here. Okay, well, things are going. So, that's going to be turn 25. Check out turn 26. This may be a, a quick, quick uh, episode here if we don't have a whole lot going on. Found a match site grove of the evergreens. One more nature gem. That's going to bring us up to 13 a turn. Not bad. 
We see a Van Hurst and some Huskaros taking a very high PD province, maybe about 20, 25 from TNN. Very good. Six air gems, very nice. And Ed and his brother are eating commoners and sheep. The garrison commander decided to get rid of evil in this land. So we have proceeded to a battle there. To Edens. Okay. Against not a lot. Okay. Looks like their very low attack density is what got them killed there. Glad we had from the looks of it maybe six PD. Yep, six PD. Okay, very nice. I'm glad we grabbed twenty or two hundred and twenty two, and that's a one thirty one income. So here, as you can tell, we have a lot of movement going on. And at this point in the game, Yomi has ended their nap with us for some reason. I guess they see that they won't be able to take any more land from Vanheim, and has decided to come after us. We see a large force here from Baratos. We're more than likely going to take some of this Olmish land here. Moving away, I think we napped up with these two, but trying to see what's going on here with Niflheim. Moving all of our, unit, or all of our scouts in Rus area here because we thought maybe we'd have some sort of war over here. Over to Yomi to see. We want to get a scout on every province. We want to see what's going on everywhere we can. We have both of these uh, hierophants instead of building a lab and a temple here just because it will take us a very long time to get this forded up. Instead, they're going to move into Yomi's land and start infiltrating for some deeper raids later. We have our site searchers heading to home. Or oh, we have some heading home. This one's heading home. This one's going to finish site searching, probably move into 162. Still site searching with a lot of stuff down here just because we're safe. Sneaking some Hierophants and whatnot over to 162. Moving other ones over. Where are you going? Where's this multi move? Looks like we're moving others over to the cap. They were starting to forge some great swords of Sartmus, but our gem comes rather low. Making some frost brands as well. Because we just made those uh, dwarven hammers. Maybe using that lightless lantern. Forging a pendant of luck. Great swords of sharpness. Sneaking a lot. Moving a lot to the cap, it seems. To pick up and start sorting out all these white centaurs we have. Forging a vine shield, a lion pelt. Multi-moving this guy to get back in this fort. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, a lot of white centaurs here to sort out and send on their way, which we are doing. Two groups are going to 231. Two groups are going to 202. These are just min ads and whatnot. We're going to leave them there. It almost looked like it was a lot of white centaurs, but it's just me and adds the hierophants. These guys are also moving up to grab some white centaurs there from the capital. These groups of harpies that we have uh, in 140 are going to be moving and sneaking from 184. More than likely, either going on 198, or depending on how things go, Yomi itself, whenever we decide to start sieging that down. Sneaking out a group of Centaur Warriors into the 186, that big throne there. Probably sneak into TNN, and then from there, either attack 182 or 198. Anything else in particular that we have going on? Still going to search for this dryad pretty far away from the front lines. That's what our gym income looks like. And that's all that we have for turn 26. 
We'll look into turn 27 before it is time for us to end the video. More than likely, we'll see the war start on the next episode. I knew for the entire game here, we did not have much of a uh, time of peace. Uh, it was basically in and out of a war, you'll see, for the entire game. I think the period between Tianqi's war and Yomi's war will be the longest period of peace that we have. And that was only a handful of turns. So we'll go ahead and end that video, or end that turn, and we'll check out turn 27. Okay, so we have a lot of interesting things going on here. Battles on Alm, Battles on Vanheim. Uh, Calum sent us some water and earth gems. It looks like we traded him more than likely maybe some air. Uh, Standing Stones, uh, Wolf, Oak, Wolf Oak is a nature gem or one nature gem site. Standing Stones is a one earth, one earth, one air. Very nice. Uh, no other sites were found. We've now taken control. <laughs> So I guess, uh, no, this was Alms. We actually took, this was Alms, uh, province there. 79 income, not too bad. It had no PD in it, or our scout saw it, so we went ahead and took it. So we see a battle of Alms. This is going to be very interesting to see what Micklin has going on here. Looks like, there, no, there's two battles, so it looks like he broke siege. We see a lot of Jags. What's that bless? Oof. Attack skill plus 4, magic weapon, shock resistance plus 10, poison resistance plus 10, fire resistance plus 10, cold resistance plus 10, defense skill plus 3, and dying plus 4, HP 1, strength plus 8, blood surge 3, combat speed plus 20, 30%, undying plus 20. Oh yeah, big bless of course. Lots of sacreds is what they do and they have some chaff here to siege the fort down. Yeah. As far as that, we'll watch the battle in the fort here. See if he had any took any real losses. We see a lot of iron warriors, steel warriors, some Leo Griffs that were made. Swarm being cast. Some shamans here. Unfortunately, this is not going to be enough for you all. It looks like he has a lot of his warriors on Guard Commander. Mm, they're just ripping him apart there. Goodness. I don't know if Micklin really even took any losses on that. Seven Eagle Warriors and two Jags. That is it? Wow. That was pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Got some pop. That's very nice. So we see a battle in Vanheim. Let's watch this. Oh, so we storming. Vanheim don't have shit. Has a few Van here and a few thugs. Very, very high defense at 31 defense. Very nice. We'll see how much damage he can do. With all this here, I don't know if he'll be able to... Uh... Yeah, definitely not. It's just going to whittle him down after a while. Yeah, I'm about to say that one with 31 defense uh, is still the only one alive. It's only going to be a matter of time, though. Yep, there it goes. Well, put up a good fight, Vanheim. Put up a good fight. Oh, and this turn we see that Zarmadia and Relay both died this turn. So we know the battle underwater has ended. Very unfortunate. We also see that Zarmadia was killed. So Arco, Niflheim, and... Which I didn't think it was Siege last turn, was it? 
Maybe they were PD killed. Or not PD. Maybe they were uh, Dom killed. Possibly. We've got a white centaur, or white minotaur. Very nice. It's just a holy two. Got a few blood slaves. Plus 15 blood slaves isn't bad. That's going to make us be able to make us either some dowsing rods or some uh, flesh eaters. Lose in three Tawatha warriors. It's the only really thing he cared about. We see a big army here from Baratos. We'll watch this just to see what he has. Lots of soldiers, spearmen, some calf. Lots of brides in waiting here. Lots of gems on them, lots of slaves. Some Colossi warriors. Against PD, we don't need to watch. Okay. So we're going to be heading down to Enchantment 5. Anything in particular here? Foul Vapors. We could also cast things like We'd have to go up to Enchantment 6 to get Grip of Winter, but it is castable. Uh, Quagmire. Yeah, I assume it's really just we're going for Foul Vapors at this point. Making some thugs, moving them into TNN's land to kind of spread out to Yomi. These guys are moving back. A lot of these higher fonts are moving into 162 to get closer. Making more frost brands. Searching with Holt Water 3s. All the guys that moved in 203 are now sneaking up into the capital. Making a Ring of the Warrior. Ring of the Warrior. So we did with 10 of the Blood Slaves that we got. Making another Lion Pelt. Making another Great Sword. Moving this pan to the capital. Moving our raiding parties deeper into Yomi. So this one's moving to 137. This one's moving to 194. These two are taking their places at 226 and 214. We have two groups. And I, yep, these two groups are moving into 193. The group of Centaur Warriors are moving to 190. So we should be looking for a very, very nice uh, elfing here whenever our turn for the war starts happens. And sure, he'll be able to raid some of them back. We do see two Citadels there on the far side, which are going to be very nice for us to take. He also has a throne that we can take as long as no one else starts vulturing what we have. But yeah, two citadels are going to be very, very nice to take. We also have one, two, three more forests that we can fort up. We have the Yomi's capital itself, and then 198. Um, we should be looking pretty good. And by taking 253, I feel like it's going to keep Baratos from trying to get some of this land here. I doubt Baratos is going to attack 10. I bet Micklin is going to hit it. Um, and I think Micklin would be fine with that, because I feel like Micklin would definitely win that battle as well. So that's what we have going on. Uh, still just a lot of sneaking around, moving our units and whatnot. Uh, so in a turn or two, we should be seeing the war happening. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.